I'm sure that uh, the questions about the alignment are still around in your mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> so perhaps we can throw away alignment aside and bring in area. <laughs> wow. Of course, area and alignment work together. But in this particular case, we're only going to be talking about area and we will have nothing to do with alignments. But of course, there is an alignment that we're going to be talking about and that's the alignment of the area with the club which is an extremely important area and alignment. Mm -hmm. But before I talk about our visit to clubs, when we make visits, we make a lot of visits. We visit our friends, we visit our family, but every time we make visits, our visit is with a purpose. We do not make visits without a purpose. The purpose could also be just to have companionship, to have a good time with our friends. But each time we make a visit, it's with a purpose. And so also, when area governors visit clubs. Is that right? You all agree? Yes. yes. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> but why is it that the visit should be carried out only by area governors. Why should not the district governor be doing the visit? I'm sure some of you as area governors may have thought of this. Why should the district governor not be asked to go visit? Why should he be kept away? Right? Have you ever thought of that? Have you, has that ever, the question ever struck you? Okay, so let's look at the answer. <laughs> Yes, it does move. <laughs> okay, let's look at this Toastmaster structure. Have you ever seen this structure before? Yes. You have? How many of you have never seen this structure before? Wow, everybody has seen it before. Good. <laughs> okay, so if you look at it, you as the member, then you have the club, then you have the area, the division, the district, the region, Toastmaster National World Headquarters. So which is it that is in proximity to the club? Which is right next to the club? It's the area. And so, because of the proximity of the club to the area, the alignment of the club and the area, it falls on the area governor to actually go visit the clubs. It's not the district governor, it's not the division governor, it's the area governor. And therefore, it's the area governor who is perhaps considered to be the most important official of the entire district. The key to the success of the entire district is actually the area governor. And so each one of you area governors here, how many area governors are here today? 22. 22 area governors of District 76 over here are the most important persons of District 76. Not the District Governor, not the LGAT, not the LGM. <laughs> oh, they're not important at all. It's you, 22 of you here today, who are the most important. Because you can ensure that the district becomes successful. Without you, the district is nothing. And it's your visit to those clubs that can make the difference. And we're going to talk about that. But before I move on to the next slide, I'd like to ask you, and this is specifically to the area governors, as to what do you think is important about your visiting the clubs? What are the things that are important about your visit? Have you visited the clubs in your areas? You should have at least visited once. That's right. All 22 of you have visited all the clubs in your areas. Yes, wonderful. And you know that there is a second visit which you are now required to make. You're aware, right? So when you visited that club of yours in your area the first time, what did you consider was the important thing about your visit. Just think back. 
remember, recall your first visit, what made it important? I hope you understood my question. Thank you. So now tell me. <laughs> if you've understood my question, I must have some answers. Yes. I think air, uh, crab visit is important because by visiting a crab, mm -hmm. I understand the, the condition or situation of the crab and I can find out their difficulties and there are any of their needs which area or district may be able to or not, should be able to assist or help. So okay. I so visit the club to find out their needs so that they can improve their club activities. Okay. So identify the situation of the club, the current situation. Club and to assess needs, right? Yes. Okay, anybody wants to add to that? Support making plan to become distinct, distinct, distinct club. Important. Okay, okay. So, supporting the club to become distinguished. Anybody wants to add to that? Anything else that you think is important? Yes, indeed. Um, get over there and let the president and the VP know that they have an area governor who can support when they are in need to answer questions and to help them build the club. So, area governor and officers are present to support the club. Okay? Anything else? To look for the next area that <laughs> <laughs> <What, what? laughs> <laughs> To hunt. <laughs> okay. To give the um, club president and the VP more information about what the district are considering for this moment, mm -hmm. or give them uh, more information about our um, education education tools, okay. because some club presidents don't know much about the, we have a lot of uh, kind of the um, successful club series or leadership series, so I encourage them to use those uh, items to give our members to have a workshop or so on, so that way they are trying to expand their viewpoint to, um, to make clubs quality, more um, high quality. So um, area governor's job is not only for DCP, but including DCP, give them uh, more information and share the vision. I think um, that way each, each area becomes uh, tighter and support them each other. Very good. So basically you share information about uh, district plans and the resources that are available to the clubs, to the uh, officers of the clubs, to make them successful. Okay? Wonderful. Well done. So. Does anybody want to add anything else before I move on? Okay. Uh, first, first, I uh, introduced myself and uh, try to get familiar with the members. Okay. That is what that I think is very important. Okay. To continue that kind so, of things. Uh, introduce yourself to the club and yes. familiarize yourself with what the club is. And get to know the their activities and uh, their enthusiasm. Yep. Okay, so uh, one may more I, point. May I have yes, one? Yes, please, 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 please. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, okay. And by club of club visits, uh, we know the club situation as well. And at the same time, uh, we let all area clubs the what's the the good points for the other clubs uh, and other clubs in the area. Right. They share the, uh, the success, story. success, success, success stories. stories. Right, yes. wonderful, wonderful. Success stories. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Because uh, there are some area governors who come to the club and say, you know that club has got already got nine points. Nine out of the ten goals achieved. And what are your what is your club doing? You've only done four points so far. 
Come on, come on, you need to do it. Buck up. <laughs> so that's good. Sharing success stories. So I, I don't think I don't I need to use the mic. Everybody can hear me, right? Yes. Clearly? Yes. Good. I have a loud voice. <laughs> okay, so I have put together some points. Okay, let, let me tell you what uh, I feel are the most important aspects about the area governor's visit. What I think is, is clearly important is that the area governor, as I had already pointed out, acts as the link between the district and the clubs. So it's not just assessing their needs or finding out information, but also using this knowledge that you obtain to share with the district, with your division governors, with the other senior district officers. Because you are that key link between the district and the clubs. So anything and everything, any problems that the clubs face, because for instance, I here, I'm here today as the RA, the region advisor, and I'm a link between the district and Toastmasters International. If you have any problems, if you have any issues, if you have any concerns, you can talk about them to me, and I'm going to take them to Toastmasters International. So it's the same thing. The same job is what the area governor does. The area governor takes the voice of the clubs and brings it to the district, brings it to the notice of the district. So that's a very important key role that you play. Then you maintain, you help maintain the club quality because you're able to give them a whole lot of information about what is it that they need to do to become successful. And with that, you're able to also ensure that they are able to achieve their DCP and the district achieves success. So it becomes a real a key to the success of not only the club but the district as well. Then the third thing that happens is that you're able to detect the early warning signs, the early warning signals. What could be early warning signals? How will you detect if a club needs special attention? Well, one of the signs could be uh, reducing number of membership. Right. Reducing number of memberships. So if they have not renewed, the members have not renewed. So obviously that's a, a clear warning sign. No guest at the club meeting. Okay. No guest at the club meeting. Uh, perhaps it's not such a warning signal because I know of many club meetings where you have no guests at all. But the fact that uh, you have a meeting which has very low attendance would perhaps be, an, uh, be a warning signal. So not that there are no guests, but the fact is that the meeting has only five or six members. Then obviously it's clearly a problem. Uh, members complaining or something. Um, members? Uh, complain, uh, complaining. Complaint. Complain. 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 Members complain. Uh, yeah. yeah, the meetings are all trash. We aren't having fun. Uh, nobody allows us to make any speeches. The president hogs the entire meeting and speaks all the time, right? <laughs> Those kind of complaints, yes, absolutely right. So, so you have an idea as to how you're going to assess the fact that the club is not really doing well. So one of the key things, as you very clearly said, was the subscriptions haven't been paid up, members have not renewed, the meeting is not very well attended, and also, the way the meeting is conducted is not effective. It's not really meeting with the Toastmasters International Guidelines. And so there, there clearly is need for extra attention to be given to the club. Okay, so early warning signals. Now, you also talked about the need for assessing and identifying the needs of the club. So that's the other thing that you're able to do. You're able to assess what is it, the kind of service that the club requires so that you're able to provide it to them. And finally, you know that it is a requirement. So that's that's one of the reasons why you make your visit. It's required that you must visit your clubs at least twice a year. But does this mean that this is the maximum number of visits that you can make? That's the minimum, absolutely. Right. <laughs> it is the minimum number of visits. You can visit every month. You can visit every time it has a meeting. 
of course, uh, your family will throw you out of home, <laughs> as it did mine. <laughs> so, so you now have understood clearly the importance of the area governor. But there are three things that you have to do. One is to prepare for the visit before you visit the club. The other is when you're actually at the meeting, there are things that you do during the meeting. And then the third thing is some activities that you have to carry out after the visit is over. Okay? So now let's look at the first thing that you have to do. Preparing for the visit. And uh, here we're talking about, you need to at least start preparing. I think you can put it on the table. So what you need to do is to really start preparing well in advance. A number of uh, times, area governors say, we don't want to visit because we've not received an invitation to go. The president has not invited us. And so we are not going to the club. Tell me, is that the right approach? What do you think? Area governors, what do you think? Should you wait for the president to invite you to plan your visit? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've heard this uh, told to me many times. Area governors haven't visited, and I finally call them and ask them, uh, I haven't received your visit report. I hope you have visited and your report is perhaps pending. They said, no, we haven't gone. I said, why? Well, because the president did, right, did not invite us. So do you think that it is required for you to wait for the president's invitation? Uh, I don't think um, we should wait for the um, uh, invitation. Okay. Um, actually, I never have done that. I, I never invited by uh, president. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think it's because um, I, send, I send our Maybe I send the invitation <laughs> to the president, maybe. <laughs> oh, well, like, I am planning to visit, right. and what is the area governor's visit meaning? Because right. some presidents don't even know about the, what area governor's visit means. So, um, for my area, I explain to them, and um, please give, up, give me some schedule, and we set it up. Right. Wonderful. You've got the answer right. Uh, you are supposed to inform you can intimate your club that you're going to be making a visit and explain to them what is it that you're going to be doing, what is the purpose of the area governor's visit, and how you're going to be assisting the club. So advise them well in advance so that they can prepare for the visit. Don't wait for them to invite you. Send them an information, an intimation that you are planning to visit on such and such day, and you hope that it will be convenient for them because it will give them an opportunity to tell you no, don't come to this particular meeting, come to this other meeting. So that you can be a little flexible, you don't have to be rigid. I have decided, I will go only in this meeting and not come for any other meeting. So, so you can't, you should not be rigid. Work with the club, because after all you have to work with the club the whole year through. So you're going to the club only to assist them, and therefore you can be flexible. But certainly you need to tell them as to what is the purpose of the visit. Very good. Now, the other thing is, Ask the club for certain information. Information such as the club success plan. Every club is required to prepare its success plan when? When does the club prepare its success plan? The club success plan. When is a club required to prepare its club success plan? Lots of quizzes here today. <laughs> I hope that you all served as club presidents, area governors. How many of you have not served as club presidents? Okay, so all of you have served as club presidents. I'm sure that you prepared a club success plan for your clubs. Yes? When? When did you prepare the club success plan? Oh, before the area governors visit. <laughs> like that. Okay. <laughs> Of the training, uh -huh. we, we, ask, uh, we learned how to yes, make a club success plan. Uh -huh. Then, so after we, we, we made. Okay. So I think the first month of the. Of the year. Yes. Of your term. Yes. Right? Absolutely right. Correct. Yes. So it is July of the year. When you take on 
the position of club officer as the president of the club or as any other officer. All officers sit together and prepare the club success plan. And what is the club success plan? What is the club success plan? I'm sure you know what is the club success plan. What is it? Somebody can explain it to me. I don't know what is the club success plan. <laughs> Any, any, anyone? Would like to explain? Yeah, this is a DCP program. This is very important success plan. One of the, the most important success, uh, okay. success of plan. Well, let me say that uh, the DCP by itself is not the club success plan. The DCP is used to prepare the club success plan. But the club success plan can go beyond the DCP. It is not restricted to the DCP. The DCP only specifies the minimum targets the minimum goals that a club should be achieving and should be working uh, for. But the DCP merely only gives you a guideline. And the club success plan can be prepared on other aspects as well, and not just get limited to the DCP, right? So you as area governors must ask the president to provide you with the club success plan before you prepare for your visit, or as you're preparing for your visit, get hold of the club success plan. Why would you like to see the club success plan? Why? Why do you need it? To discuss it with higher ability in the club. Okay, to discuss it, but also it gives you an idea as to what is the club plan for itself. Was it a good plan? Is it an effective plan? Is there something that you can advise the club about the plan? So that they can make changes to it to make it more effective, right? Okay. I have different ideas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I last this month. Ah, uh, this month. Last month. We had the second uh, officer training, and I took a role of uh, uh, leadership program, and uh, the title is uh, moment uh, through the uh, moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Learn what is the leadership, mm -hmm. and then I asked the first time, so, uh, divided the president group and the other officers group, and especially for the president, I asked uh, when uh, you assigned uh, or you took a uh, uh, president, you made a fantastic uh, vision, and that vision means you set up a goal and some uh, project and so on and so. And uh, as a leader, what is your role? That means to lead the people or pe teams to be successful club, or to be to the successful team, mm -hmm. accomplish uh, your visions to make it, uh, what you call, realistic to the, your goal. Mm -hmm. So, as I made that, and I found that every president after six months, uh, because this is, it was the second uh, uh, training course after six months. And uh, they, I found that moment of, uh, concerning for moment of truth, some presidents know very well about the majorities of uh, president or vice president. It's just, I'm afraid it's the first time to read or to know what the contents of the moment of truth. So moment or two is uh, one of the key points to realize for sub to lead a successful crop. Is it right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the moments of truth is a program that the club runs in their uh, club meeting, basically to identify for themselves if the club has actually been successful as far as the members are concerned. Do the members rate them as a successful club? So we're not discussing the moments of truth here. There are 36 points that the club is assessed on, and depending upon what the results are, it helps the club understand what is it that they need to do to improve on so that they are able to meet members' needs. It's a very powerful program, and I'm sure that uh, clubs in your district are running it. If they are not, encourage them to do so. Okay, so now you also need to ensure that you familiarize yourself with the club visit report format. All of you must have uh, already filled out the report online and submitted it. Any of you who did not do it? Oh good. 
Mr. Gavana Bunzo, did they all do it? <laughs> oh, good. So you've got a good report card. So, uh, in fact, my next two slides are about the visit to port. So I don't actually need to spend time on that. Now, uh, here you would also like to identify from the president what is it that they would like from you. At this time, what I would like is uh, two of you to volunteer. Two vol I need two volunteers from the area governors. Two people to volunteer. Two volunteers, please. Who's going to step up unless uh, you want me to call you? <laughs> Just, two. Just two volunteers. Okay. Can you come up? Both of you. Thank you very much. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> to area governor CP and area governor Viva. Viva, I, I pronounced that right. Okay, thank you. Okay, area governor, if he have you served as club president before? Correct. Currently, you are serving as club president, and maybe you are of course an area governor, right? So, as area governor, you are planning to visit if he's club where he's the president. It's a club in your area, and you are talking to him planning your visit and you want to find out what are the concerns that the club has which you can help the club with. So talk to Ifi to find out what are the club's specific needs when you visit so that you can help them. Okay? So go ahead. It's a role play. Ada Governor is uh, going to talk to the president to show you how she is going to find out about the club's needs. Time starts now, you have exactly five minutes. <laughs> if you can finish it earlier, I have no problem. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for our for today's meeting. Um, seems like the all all over the meeting I saw looks um, looks looks fine. I don't see I don't see any problems. However, because your club is operated okay, and attendance, number of the attendance seems enough, remember? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. I think you misunderstood me. Oh. You haven't yet gone to the club. I haven't. No, you're not at the club. <laughs> this is before you go to the club. <laughs> you are planning your visit. Now you want to find out, is the president, does he have any particular needs? You want to customize your visit. You want to plan your visit. You are finding out from the president if they have any particular problem, if there, there are any needs that they have, so that you can plan more effectively. So you've not gone to the club, you're going to the club, you're planning your place. Okay? Okay. Yeah, nothing. Zero knowledge. Okay. Except the name of the club. Okay. <laughs> and the name of the president. Okay. Um, okay. Since I'm, I'm going to be your club next month, um, I'd like to know about your club more. Um, I would like to collect your, your club's information more, so then I will have more effective advice, or if I already know your program, um, I can collect the information and give you a, give you a, some suggestion on that when I visit your club. So, um, do you think your club is operating very well? Well, our club, uh, I can say we are operating very well, but we still have some areas that I will need your advice on. Um, we we trying to get up to 20 members. And also, uh, number two is that uh, I have drawn a plan for DCP, and I would like you to give us more advice on that. For example, we need, uh, I, uh, in my plan, I have scheduled to have four members accomplish the CC, two members accomplish the CL, so I'll need your advice on how we can achieve that. Um, about the CC, completing the CC, have you ever tried to um, make some schedule for the, which member will make a speech when, and then another member make a speech when? Have you ever made some kind of a chart? 
Well, as you can see, I'm just a new president. Those ideas are not yet in my mind, so how would I give you the advice? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, I thought you had done the VPE last, last term. Okay. Um, I think um, to encourage members to achieve CC and CL is um, one of the most challenging things, I think, because if it's achieved, other member will encourage, and they are trying to um, think. Um, they um, they are trying to uh, follow the uh, successful successful members. So, um, I think scheduling for the members, each members, are key point. Um, maybe as a president, maybe president needs to tie together with VPE to think to work together for the schedule. Follow the schedule for the when you, you have a twice in a twice meeting in the month. So you have a twenty four times in the meeting during the year. So I think um, first of all you need to know who has who has a um, who is our um, uh, each each member's current status of the CC. Some member is a fourth uh, or project four. Some member project six. Some member are only one. So you you maybe want to arrange who's going to be the speaker when and who's going to the speaker when and if there's prospective. Member prospect prospect means some member who are almost at achieving our project ten. Maybe focus on them and try to let them know, let them tell, let them know, um, or encourage them to become our um, pro um, achieve for the project ten. That way, uh, each member has a focus on to achieving the goal. I think. Thank you so much. Now you recall to me because I remember I was the VP before. So now I remember that I have to go back to our club performance chat and move from there and talk to my VPE and withdraw we'll plans and then schedule members to work on that. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Good job. Big round of applause. Very well done. So that was a small demonstration on how you can plan your club visit by talking to the club president, assessing their needs. Of course, you don't have to start advising them on the phone. Uh, you can use the time, as uh, Miva did, to explain to Ify what is it that they could do to track what the club members are doing, where have they reached in terms of their educational goals, so that they can then pursue them more effectively. But uh, Clearly, what then you can do is, once you have identified the specific need, perhaps it is membership growth, perhaps it is non-payments by members, perhaps they are not achieving their educational goals, perhaps some of the officers are not doing what their job is supposed to be. So once you've been able to assess and identify the specific needs, plan a presentation that you can make to the club, which will directly relate to the problem that they are facing. So go with that plan and make a presentation, make a 5 minute or a 10 minute presentation which will then will really clarify the problems, will ensure that the club may start working and may start becoming better in terms of the problems they are facing. Right? Okay, so the area governance visit report I am not going to spend time on. Uh, let's, let's move on. This is page 1 and 2 of this move. On. The area visit report, in any case, as you're aware, is basically a reflection of the club's DCP, but it also asks you certain other questions. And they all relate directly to what you observed during the meeting and your discussions that you've had with the club during your visit, right? You're all aware of that. So I'm not going to spend more time on that. But during the visit, what are the things that you're doing? You're observing the club meeting, right? With reference to the club's mission. Anybody remember what is the mission of Toastmasters? Our mission of our club? 
to provide to provide a supportive environment. Yeah, to provide a mutually supportive environment in which every every member has the opportunity to improve oral communication and which is now most self confidence and personal life. Absolutely right. <laughs> Well done. So, so clearly, the mission is to be supportive, to provide a learning environment, and to foster, to help members foster confidence and personal growth through communication skills and leadership skills that the meeting is able to provide them. So, this is what you're going to see. Is the club mission being, uh, being achieved through the club meeting that is being conducted? Is there any gap? in the mission. So if the guests are not being greeted properly, or if the members are not being greeted properly, or are not being given opportunity to speak, or the time is very limited, or somebody is hogging all the time and not giving time, uh, enough time to the other members, then clearly there is a problem. And you have to then see what is it that you can advise the club to do to make a difference. Then uh, make a presentation. I suggested to you that you make a presentation based on what you have assessed is the need of the club. And you pick up a program from the Successful Club series. Have you heard of the club, Successful Club series? All of you? Have you downloaded the Successful Club series from Toastmaster National website? You know that uh, they are all available digitally. You can download, free of cost, the entire Successful Club series. And please use that resource. It's a beautiful resource. And plan to make a presentation from the Successful Club series. Then identify what is the what are the kind of different programs that the club is running. For instance, uh, they may have a special uh, membership building program, or they may have uh, other programs, uh, a public publicity program may, may be in place. So identify what are the different programs that they have in place, which you can assist them with, or which you can see if they are making a difference and if there's something that can be done to improve the quality of those programs. Also, as you observe the club meeting, what you're going to find out is what are what are the things that they're doing very well. Now, uh, I think uh, when we were talking about the importance of the club visit, one of you pointed out that it's a good idea to exchange information to tell them about what other clubs are doing and how uh, the other clubs have been successful. So it's a good thing for you to be able to share the success stories of other clubs that you've noticed and also praise them. Praise them, compliment them, congratulate them on their successes, on what they are doing very well. Because it's always a good idea to follow the CRC approach. CRC, everybody is aware of? Command. Command, recommend, and command. Yeah. How do we evaluate? We evaluate by commending, recommending, and then commending. So use the same technique with the club. Commend them for what they're doing. Give some recommendations. Tell them how they can improve. And then commend them again. Great way to evaluate. Anywhere, anytime. The sandwich, absolutely. <laughs> the hamburger. <laughs> then see where they have reached on their DCP goals. What is it that they need to do further? The enhancements that they need to make in terms of their progress. Is there something that you need to do to advise them so that they can improve further? Go beyond where they are today, right? So uh, how will you be able to judge the enhancement possibilities? How can you assess this? Question time. How will you judge enhancement possibilities? Yeah. Uh, if if I have had the opportunity to visit other clubs and uh, observe their fantastic performance, then I can give another club uh, making a uh, suggestion in comparison with that the standard of club that I that I think was the best in my in my experience. Okay, good. Anybody would like to add to that? Simply, uh, act as a general evaluator in the meeting. Okay, so so be 
the general evaluator in the meeting so that you can give them much more advice about what is it that they can do to enhance the quality of their meetings. But as far as the progress that they have made on the Distinguished Club program or the, or the success plan that they have, what is it that you can do to identify and advise them on what they need to do to enhance their progress? One is the club meeting, and you've given me a very great idea that you be the general evaluator of the meeting. But what is it that you can advise them in terms of enhancing where they are from where they are to where they need to get to, as far as their club success is concerned. How will you identify this? Yes, if you. From my idea, I think it's uh, to base that on the DCP. Mm -hmm. And then prior to visiting the club, visiting the club, you have to look on that. The club and president have to talk to you on that. And then you create a kind of standard of expectation from that club. Right. And then based that, and when you go over there, talk to the president and the VPE, based on your observation, their current level and the expectation that you Absolutely have. right. So you use the club success plan that you've received as the benchmark and judge where they have been, where they've got to when you are actually visiting, and then identify the shortcomings that the club has and advise them on what they need to do to get back on track so that they're able to achieve by the time the end of the year comes, they should be distinguished. Good idea. And finally, somebody mentioned that you have to look for your successor as the next area <laughs> governor. So clearly, uh, in your club visit, you need to interact with the club officers, with other members, and try and assess their capability so that you are able to find the area governors of the future. Not just the following year, but even a couple of years hence. Because there are always people who are available, who are learning, but display their capabilities. And you can always keep them at the back of your mind when you're looking for the next set of leaders. Okay, the successful club series. Everybody is aware of the successful club series? The various items on the club, successful club series? I've just listed them here. I've uh, and I suggest that you actually download all of them. You never know when you might need them. So download them all, keep them handy, so that uh, whenever you need it, you can use them. Please go through them as well. Don't just download them. But, <laughs> but you must know what those are, so that you can easily identify what is it that you would like to use when you are visiting the club. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, the final thing that you would need to do is after the club visit. So now after the visit, your visit is over, you're back home, and the first thing you must do is to submit your visit report. I know a lot of area governors who decide that after they have visited all the clubs under their charge, they will file the reports all at one go. Don't do that. <laughs> How many of you do that actually? All of you. <laughs> uh, my suggestion is that you must file your report as soon as you visited the club. Because the earlier you file your report, the easier it is for the district to start taking action. If the club really needs attention, the earlier you file your report goes out, the quicker action can be taken to help the club. Right? So don't wait until you visited all the clubs. File your report immediately. One other thing that I would suggest that you should do when you are filing your club report, your area visit report, is with respect to the CCs and the ACs who are expected from the club. Against the name of the person who is expected to complete the AC or the CC, mention the number of, project, uh, number of uh, projects of that particular series that they have already completed. If, let's say, a person has completed six speeches of the CC and is expected to complete the rest in, say, two months' time, Mention six speeches done, or you know, so and so and person six for the CC. Or if the person who's expected to complete AC has done eight projects from two different manuals, of course, five from one and three from the other. So mention eight against it. So then, when the district officers look at it, they know that the expectation is high that the person so concerned will either complete the CC or the AC by 30th June. 
So your work becomes easier and their work becomes easier because you're able to track the progress that you need to, as the year end approaches, everybody is running enter and skelter because you want to achieve your CC and AC goals. So this way it's easy to keep track, to see who is likely to achieve that goal, right? So it's a very simple thing that you have to do. Just remember to write the number of projects they've completed. Now, you visited the club, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to follow up again. Keep checking back to see how they're making the progress. Keep track of the progress through the district, uh, through the club success uh, plan, uh, the club, uh, distinguished club plan, the distinguished club progress. Do you know that you can actually see the performance of the clubs online? Do you actually check it out at least once a month for your clubs? Now my suggestion is that henceforth start doing it once a week. <laughs> because the, the changes happen every week. So please look at the club performance report every week because you will be able to get an idea as to how the club is moving. After you visit it, please start doing this on a weekly basis. And uh, then you must continuously provide them the guidance and the support that they require. And if you do that, undoubtedly, not only will your visit be successful, but you will be successful as an area governor. And if you are successful, can we have the next slide? So if you are <laughs> successful as in your visit and as an area governor, the district is certainly going to be successful. So that visit is the visit that will make the difference. Let's just